Alright everyone, welcome to our newest Let's Play. Yeah. The, the Banner Saga, featuring the O1 and the only Crash Carl. That's me. That's him. That's, that's my name. Don't yeah, forget it. That's Commander Carl down there. Don't you forget yeah. it. Commodore. He is a man of many titles. And it is Crap I. Carl. Crap Crape Carl. Crape Carl. Crape Carl. Crape Carl. Like Crape French. like the breakfast? Yeah. I don't know right. how to be breakfast. Some uh, people eat grapes for dinner. That's fair. Or, that's or fair. dessert. I'm not a big... I think crepes are, like, above average. I wouldn't say, like, I'd go out of my way to get a crepe. It's weird. I think they're delicious. And I no, I'm not saying had, they're like, bad. But... I've only had, like, four in my life. Okay, maybe you should start eating more crepes. Yeah. Anyways, this is, uh, this is the Banner Saga. Uh, we're going to be playing through all three of them... Uh, now, if I'm not mistaken, decisions made in this game affect decisions made in the second game and the third game. So, uh, I'm going to be playing, uh, like, and with Dark Souls, Ryan's going to be making a lot of the decisions. And um, we're going to see how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. I have, get it. I know nothing about this game. I don't know the gameplay. I don't know what it's about. The only thing I've heard about this game is its name. I've played through most of this game. I haven't beaten it yet, and I've never played the second or third one. Ah. So this the the story of this game, yeah, just that's a powerful first sentence right there. Yeah, that, there's a lot to soak in there. The gods are dead. In their wake, man and giant survived through a tenuous alliance, driving black destroyers called Dredge deep into the northern wastes. Now is an era of growth and trade. Life goes on. Only one thing is stopped, the sun. The sun. Yeah, there, there's very kind of Dark Souls-y ask where it's like, just, hey, everything's fucked, like, good luck, dude. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Gonna need it for your balls. Gonna need it for your balls. Keep those balls safe. It has been several long months on the road. <clears throat> First so I'm assuming first-person shooter. Yeah, this is basically what Valorant was based on. Largest okay. of the trade cities on the Val <laughs> human borders. I can see that. Last collection so the giants are called Varl in this capital. game. Varl. Yeah, this like is that. very like Nordic, like Several very like Viking, ago, his, like gods, Viking his, in the history sky. kind of thing. Though during these uh, long winter, I like days, that stuff. None of us can be sure cool. how long it has been this yeah. way. Some of the men in the caravan ah. have taken it as a dire omen. A I dire am omen. To superstition, but I myself will be glad to be done with this year's rounds. So, the, do you see this dude with the horns? Those are Varl. By stranded travelers Varl, okay. about brigands on the path through Rich Horn, our road home. Our captain seems unconcerned. Perhaps he is as eager as I to be done here. We will rest here this day and inquire further when we speak to the governor. The art's pretty, pretty fun in this, too. Yeah, I like it. Um, so, decisions you make will affect this entire game. Just because like, what the fuck? You say that they were called again? Varl. Varl. You could be Varl Carl, man. Could be Varl Carl. Oh wow, they are big. Yeah, the dad bots are here. Yeah, they're here. You should drink your beer. Yeah. Where's the NFL? Just swings the sword. Why are the players kneeling? This is a can't have it. It was a little loud during that cutscene. We've oh, arrived it? just in time, the chief didn't- or maybe my headset's just turned up a lot. Was it quiet for you, or...? No, it sounded fine to me, but then again, I'm, you know, I'm, my Discord audio is different than, than yours. This should be okay. You've arrived just in time, can... the chief didn't in red, and his men are now looking at a tougher fight than they bargained for. Okay. 
My surroundings, okay. These portraits show the order of initiative, taking turns from left to right. Your allies are blue, the enemy is red. It is our turn to act. So the blue is, I believe, how much he can move, and then the yellow is like if he like moved forward, but he doesn't get an action. Okay. The so as long allies, as you get to the, you can still get an action as long as you don't go into the yellow. I believe so. Yes. Okay. Varl, who take up four tiles while humans fill a single tile. This could have a huge oh, impact. Shit. Four tiles. Yeah. So they're telling me to move here. This art kind of reminds me of like the like the night the weird eighties nineties like Christian games. Yeah, like that came out like, in like some yeah, like you know that weird Zelda game, the Zelda game. Movie I was really thinking the exact same thing. Yeah, click the tile. Okay, so they have armor which is on the left, which could be broken, and then they have just their health. That makes sense. Okay, strength counts as both health and damage. Loss of two strength means you'll also now do two less damage. So are we going to be the giants the entire game, or are we just seeing a certain scene? I mean, do you want the answer to that? Nah, we'll, we'll see what happens. You you get There's a mix. Okay. Armor blocks strength damage, but can be reduced by a break attack. By breaking armor, you open them up for more damage. Okay. So I'm just going to straight up fucking... Just kill this, man. It would. So, for each kill you get, you get essentially experience, which you can then use to upgrade certain abilities on your character. Oh, nice. The chieftain. <laughs> oh, hilarious. This is a good, good attack. But all characters can use willpower to boost their action. Willpower is a limited resource, so use it. By clicking on the gold tires, the character can move further at the cost of one willpower per gold tile. Okay. Oh, so it's like you to move oh, forward okay, and yellow. Oh, okay, so then never mind. Okay, so on the left-hand side, that stars are willpower. So I could still attack this turn. It just uses willpower to be able to move further. Yeah, you just gotta spend a little extra to get that further distance. Yeah. By clicking your character's tile, it bring up all his combat options, including move, ability, attack, and in turn, click the purple ability now. Did it say, does willpower, willpower come back after every turn, or is it a... I think you might get it back if you get a kill, and I think it resets after each battle, I believe. Alright. I see. <laughs> yeah! During pillage, each character moves in order, and there are no more guaranteed turns. Oh, so if you don't move on your turn, you can rest to get one willpower back. Oh, okay. You won't be able to fit with a normal, but willpower can be used to boost your damage. Oh, so you can do a little bit extra damage with willpower. Could you imagine just sitting there, these guys come in and talking shit, and then these giants just come in and murder four people in front of you? Yeah. That's terrifying. Like a rabbit I'm sure they thought they were going to have a good, good dinner. How did it come to this? We fool ourselves believing that peace will last. My grandfather never does. built all this from a poor fishing village, you know. He you wants know. the gods die. What's the chaos that followed? Watch Can you imagine watching a god die? Yeah, that'd be a lot. Even before the dreads arose. All we've done is traded one struggle for another. Now that there are no more dreads to war against, we war against ourselves. This chieftain meant to kill me, and he's not the first. A dozen families in the city would gladly take my chair. This one had men waylaying merchants, both north and south of the city, strangling trade quite well, I would add. Though he denied it to his lust. This sort of wolf doesn't stop biting because the head is cut off. It just grows a new head. I'm in a bad way, my friend. Help me finish this fight and I'll gladly send you on your way with double our king's tithe. Take any men you need. They're loyal. I promise you that. They will meet you down in the proving grounds. So wait, we just showed up, kicked ass, and he's just like, I want to hire you? Well, so apparently th this guy makes this trip yearly. 
So it's not like we don't have a history okay. with that guy. All right. Um, so, no, it's not just like these giants that nobody's seen before came in and fucked some shit up. All right, that, that makes sense. You're approached by a familiar man who walks in to step with you as you're leaving the Great Hall. So, during that cutscene where they said the gods died and the dredge came up, that reminds me a lot of in Dark Souls if you would have walked away at the last bonfire. Like, this is what I imagined would happen. The gods are gone, and, like, the abyss takes over and spawns its own things. Oh, okay. Uh, he cuts to the chase. Oh, God. That hair. Does this, does this have similar gameplay to XCOM? Mm, I mean, it's turn-based. Yeah. It's turn-based and you have limited movement and then you can attack, but, you know. I'd say XCOM's probably significantly harder than this. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. You feel like a real piece of shit when you let people die in that game. Ah. Eric Stewart of Probably Stroud. not that important. I manage the governor's business. Ubin, isn't it? Alright, what are we saying? Uh. I'm just here for the tith. What's the tith? Is that the beer? Tithe. Tithe is, is like what the govern. Like, that's essentially like a salary. Uh, it is. That's me. The governor tells me he'll be giving us a hand. What did you have in mind? Scafflings that you didn't hack up in the Great Hall scattered after you took out their chief chieftain. The governor just wants to make sure they stay down. Oh, God. Hey! Oh, first sneeze of the playthrough. We got it. Plus I was hoping you. you'd join me. Thank you. At the marketplace by the docks. If there's anyone left to worry about, I know who can tell us. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, why not? Click the market tent to visit the merchant. Let's go see what that crazy merchant's up to. He he just looks like he's so over everything on the left. Our <laughs> yeah, he's like, eh. I've lived a long life, seen a lot of shit. It's like, why do you humans just continue to just be assholes? Yeah. Let me handle this. You meander through rows of open-faced houses and eroded stalls. Colored canvases flap on a briny current. One man in particular blanches as you approach. Had, I'm not in the mood today. Oh, I like his hat. Oh, that's a cool hat. For, for what? Talking to an idiot got him. The scaffolding's chieflin, chieftain bled out about an hour ago had, so when you tell me what rat anus the rest of them crawled back into, no one's going to try to kill you this time. I don't talk to you, they don't talk to me. The, the rat anus? Yeah. What are you thinking? Um... Uh, um... I don't have the patience for this. Sweats visibly. Sweats visibly. <laughs> Ooh woo. <laughs> Fumbling with some dirty trinkets on his table. Wait, just buy one of these. If everyone thinks I'm getting worked over every week, how am I supposed to know much? Just a little food money, yeah. Alright, you want to intimidate uh, him or pay him? Um... Let's intimidate him. Alright. You motion to gun off your enormous bodyguard who looms over the man like a snake over a mouse. <laughs> Gods! Gods! <laughs> Laying it on a bit heavy, don't you think? Where are the scaffolds? Nobleman up by the east wall, but that was months ago last I know. Yeah, we're just like, fuck off. Uh. Oh, I love Gun Off. Oh, he's so great. A oh, majestic beard and hair. Oh my goodness, yeah. Gun Off, were you wearing green back at the Great Hall? <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> just spot him while you're walking around. Why? <laughs> you look like a frog. Definitely say it. Better than an eggplant. Fucking god. Ah, touche. Go to. <laughs> just like, alright, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> that man of yours seems unreliable at best. But he uh, wouldn't trust Had, but he used to be scaffling. If they're licking their wounds, they've probably gone to old haunts, not new ones. Nobleman is a mead hall. Best I can tell, the name's ironic. That guy who'd love to put a few of these scowls, I can find him and meet you there. 
All right, what do you want? After this, I'm done. Where is this place, or should we have an approach of some sort? Should we have an approach of some sort? What a luxury. Come on, you've already mopped up worse today. Double the tithe, baby. Double the money. Yeah, get out of here, Eric, you fucking wiener. Is it Eric or Eric? Ye I, I'm probably butchering a lot. Eric? Eric? Eunuch? You arrive in what front of what must be a nobleman. A few minutes later, he appears with a weather-beaten man introduced as Valgard. What are you thinking? Hmm. I like that. Nah, I'm good. You guys go on ahead. Yeah, let's sit this one out. No, don't sit it out, you goober. <laughs> uh, can you skip the fight if we do that? I don't know. You want to try it? Yeah, let's just see what happens. You're lost. They hold up in a meat house. I'll be surprised if they can stand up on their own. Uh-oh, Ryan, you might have fucked up. Ah, uh, just down so with the guy. So he breaks the front door, walks in, he's right at the head of the table, axe drawn. Everyone's like, oh, fuck! Oh, if I have to f Oh, it looks like he didn't need the help. Oh, there you go, you just skipped the fight. Well, that's not necessarily good, because that's less experience, but... Yeah, yeah, well, now we know. Gods be damned, I've got to wash off this blood. Well... Next we never would have known if we didn't do it. Now we that's, know. No, that's fair. The other flag looks important. So somebody's coming up. Uh, that makes more sense. You'd hope I have a stake in saying everything's fine here when the royal guest arrived. You know, in the great hall. Can I ask one more favor? Would... Would... would can you have one more favor, Ryan? Ah, uh, sure. Why not? If you happen to saw our guest out at the docks, I wouldn't object. Oh, shit. There's credit, it's spar, you give it me yeah. out. You're just like, fuck it, I'm not human, I don't give a shit. Yeah, not anything to worry about. That's a lot of ships. That is a lot of ships. Holy fuck. Vognir. Vodka. A vodka. A familiar varl steps onto the docks in your mind, you're calling a much younger version trampling the halls of Grofheim abundant in purpose. Hey. God! Hey, he changes out of it. No, that's a different guy. Oh, uh, so, yeah. Once I saw the beard, I knew that was a different man. Lupin, you're looking ancient. Comes with being old, and if there's a Wagner, there must be a Hackam. It's your boy with the fucking 80s metal mustache, dude. Still bleeding tributes from the poor and stupid old Yox. At what age do you lose a sense of shame? I speak, I no, you know. So we don't know why the fuck these guys are so far from home. Habering. Why is this guy like half his face cut off right yeah, now? Yeah, I know. He's a little, little out of the... He's shy. Out of the view, yeah. See, one of his eyes, King though. of men or someone on his behalf. The king's wealth. The king's son. Oh, shit. We visit his capital. He visits ours. It's how you make alliances these days. It's a miserable waste of time. Hakon has it. I'd almost forgotten. It's a good thing you're around. Then you're going to Grafheim. Okay, we should caravan. Oh, shit. And better sit with a drink a week away, but let's just find me tomorrow at the gates. Hell yeah, dude. We got two right. hot strapping Varls to join us. Got the boys. They're back. I'm hoping to be Going on a boys there. trip. Yeah, boys trip. I'll be along. All right. All right, there you go. So now we have company for our trip back. So that's kind of nice. That's good. We get to meet the king's son as well. Ooh. And you chuckle yourself about what an odd day. One of the governor's men could find you a place to sleep. If you're going to join his caravan, it might not hurt to share a drink with Hack on or introduce yourself to the prince. Definitely so, share a drink. You want to meet 80s metal dude, the king's son, or you want to go to sleep? So let's meet the 80s metal dude. Okay. Scrivener! <laughs> you find Hacken and Amita surrounded by other Varl. Strand is no stranger to Varl, but rarely sees as many. Hawken waves you over. <laughs> I like just gets into town and immediately finds the bar. Yeah, I mean, what else are you gonna do? You already missed the massacre. Every year I make the rounds collecting taxes. Every year it's the human settlements that give me money. We added a few more. 
What's in his hand? Is it, it's a feather? It's a, yeah, it's a quill. Okay. To start trying. When Ivaro could recount his deeds, known as he is for cutting a swath through dredge at Wagner's side in the Second War. Down here, I'm a glorified bodyguard. Soon enough, blah, blah, blah. All right, yeah, we get kind of tipsy. Drink until the meat house becomes overbearing. All right, now talk to the king's son. All right. <laughs> How's it going? Hey. You find the prince at an inn. Guards blanket the building, including a sharp-eyed Varl who must be working for a loot, and a woman in red eventually waves you over and stands nearby, arms crossed. Do you want to do you want to voice Prince Luden, Ryan? Uh, sure. Greetings, Prince Luden. Yo, it's me, Prince Luden. You're with Wagner. I don't remember you. <laughs> hey, it's me, your boy. Not exactly. I've known Wagner a long time. I'll be joining you back to Grofheim with my guards. Luden looks L up. Luden looks up yeah, he... for the first time. The woman doesn't react. Why? <laughs> I work for the king, carrying tithes to the capital. We cross by chance. Oh, uh, tax collector. <laughs> fine, fine company. What do, you, what, do you, what do you want? What do you um, want? Let's... Uh... Well, let's, uh, I have a habit of reporting history. Uh, Varro Astorian. Uh-huh. Don't you already know? Your king and anime both have been practically trumpeting it throughout the cities. I've been on the road a while, I'm afraid. Luton takes a deep sigh. Whether tired or ungracious, you aren't certain. Maybe both. Uh, formality, mostly. Fognir came to our capital in Aberang. Now, we go to the Verils, capital in Grofheim to comment this grand alliance for the next Agi of men and Varl. That's good. You sound unconvinced. Clearly, you've never met someone of my stature. Clearly, There's no need never... for it. And it's damn Ned called up here. Clearly, you've never had a wife, Ubin. Yeah. Uh. Uh, you take the opportunity to excuse yourself. We're just like, fuck that shit, I'm out. This guy's a dick. This guy doesn't know how to speak right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we went to sleep at dawn. You're awoken by a delivery of goods. At least you think it's dawn. Damn hard to tell with the sun that never moves. The governor's yeah. quest adorns the supply leathers. Not as many as you promised, but no time to complain now. So you can see we have 32 Varl in our camp. Zero fighters and zero clansmen. But everyone's happy. We have 99 days worth of food. That's good. And that one, Seems I believe, like is how many days there are. Okay. Okay. Luden and his men appear groggy and disheveled. Okay. Are you ready, Ryan? I'm ready. We're ready. Let's do it. Would be enough, but they have been told to push them open. Everyone's just pissed and tired and cold, essentially. Yeah. It's not fun being tired and cold. No. One of the worst feelings, in my opinion. Yeah. So we're leaving Strand. Goodbye, I Strand. love the like the size of that fucking banner, dude. It's a huge banner. That's Look at the size of those mountains behind you. So if I'm not cor if I'm correct, this is called Banner Saga because all of recorded history, or all of like our guy's history, Uden, is written on that banner. He you writes so. everything he writes is on there. I believe so. Or they 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 sew like history onto the banner. Oh, a, the cameraman stops for a day. A gift says Moger, cracking open mead casks from our gracious friend, the governor of Strand. Hours pass with raucous laughter as the mead is passed at the camp. Do you want to drink a little, drink a lot, or a toast to Wagner? Let's have a toast. You raise your drink, toasting the alliance between Man and Varl. The others join in, Luden's expressions like a stone wall, but the others laugh at your exaggerations. Eventually, you sit down beside Wagner. So let's, uh, let's have a chat. Thanks for the speech, slurs Wagner. <laughs> He's a little drunk. He's a little drunky boy. Looks, looks like you didn't have to miss out after all. There you go, Ryan. You could be Ginger Boy. Thanks to Wagner, I thought the damn governor would never shut up. <laughs> 
Did he give you the history of his entire family? He tried. Then he asked me to clean up his mess for your benefit, turns out. I'd have given the job to you, too. God, there's no joy in politics. <laughs> Speaking of what happens after this business with Luden. Hopefully, the boy goes back to Arborak on his own. And I can take out some frustration on treasure or something. I love just. Just literally the only thing that brings me relaxation is killing things. No. Starting to sound like hack, and you don't like the life of a diplomat? Ah, oh, no. Don't you mess the fight open. Bah! <laughs> you down your meat instead of replying, Vogner slouches and shakes his head. No great, no harm in killing, Dredd. Well, this pretty hard nonsense. Keep your twain and take things fast. Some kind of idiot. That's good. You have to be warriors and follow you for what you've done. Isn't that why they follow you now? Uh, or is it because I'm the next in line? You'd like to get muddy, old Varl. They've always been muddy, Wagner. You leave them to it. He's, he's just drunk and thinking. Yeah. That was nice. That was very nice. Yeah, Wagner will remember that. He rides groggily the campsite of Casualty of Merriment. Mogger's already kicking warriors awake when you spot Luden stalking your direction. He sidesteps sleeping bodies. Better wake up. You nudge, you nudge Wagner. You're needed. Oh, God damn it! I'll be the 80s ah. guy. Ah, Luden, that was a pleasure. You look well rested. Wagner releases a caged yawn and receives a hard-eyed stare in return. Uh, how, how long did Graf find? Ah, uh, we're only two days out of Strand, you know. Come, I'll show you on a map. There you go. This is good. It's what the people want. Oh, this loading. Oh, there we go. Yeah. This is the map of the world. You can explore it by dragging the mouse to pan and using the mouse wheel to zoom. That's a good map. So, Look. yeah, this, very, this is very Lord of the Rings. Yeah, very Middle Earthy. So this is where we're at. That's Grafheim, the okay. Varl capital. And where is? Um. Oh fuck. Aberrant. So there's the human capital in Aberrant. And then there's the uh, the last home of the Varl and seat of their power. Boom. Boom. A lot of lore here. Yes, there's a lot to be read. Yes. We're gonna leave a lot, some of the lore stuff for people that want to play this game to find. Right now, then he's with the boss. I find far from Strand, gonna be a long march. Oh god, you should have drank last night, Luden. <laughs> Why not take the ships to Skirmistead? What's the point of marching? The Silverstone Bay is called that for a reason. It's covered in ice all year. It would tear up the longships. No matter. We're gonna show you all the waters of Skyrim, blah blah. Yes, yeah, that one. A half sunken city crawling with dredge prints. Dredge and glaciers. You like glaciers? Luden exhales through hit the nose, a poor disguise for his contempt. He turns and bats aside the tent flaps as he goes, barking at his company in the distance. Don't poke the anthill, Wagner. He seems no happier to be here than you. You know what day is, little boy, old friend? Are we looking at our cliff tall hip? Tall cliff to hip up, too. He just sounds like a Viking version of Boomhauer. Oh, <laughs> Scott. <laughs> I thought I'd work with Hacken. <laughs> Thanks, Wagner. Let's get moving. Another half day to Vedril, or Vet. Ved fell if we're lucky. All right, so this screen you see is gonna be a screen we see a lot. This is the camp we manage here. It's our, our hub. Kind of our hub. You can upgrade allies or equip items in the hero tent. You can pass time using the rest. Uh, it'll improve morale. High morale will reduce casualties in war and affect your willpower in combat. Oh boy. Uh, the training tent will allow you to safely try out any characters in a mock battle. Tap leave at the bottom of the campsite when you're ready to get back on the road. So, here's the hero's tent. This is where our right. boys are. 
So we have Moger, we have Hacken, we have Luden, we have Gunolf. Click on the ability to learn about his ability. Bring the pain. Strikes an adjacent enemy for armor break damage before hunkering down and boosting his passive ability. Return the favor to return even more break damage for one turn. Boom. So he doesn't have any points. None of our guys do. Alright, great. Thank you. Nah, they're probably not important. Nah. Don't nah. need the points. So here's training. Units moving. Oh, we didn't want to do training. I don't want to fight. Oh, fuck. Can I get out of this? Shit. I didn't want to do this. I think I might be stuck here. Yeah. Fuck suck. me. Can't go anywhere else. Uh All right, we don't, we don't, we don't want to do this. Oh, there we go. End training. Uden's just like fucking stop. All right. Uh, uh, we'll can you back. wait? Can you like boost your abilities doing that? Um, I think it's more just figuring out abilities as opposed ah, to boosting. like you just got something and you want to know how to use yeah. it. Um, I Practicing. think that right there, uh, we're probably about to hit the road. So um, that's day first two days of this and a little bit of intro. Uh, we appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I'm looking forward to the next ones. I want to see what kind of decisions Ryan makes. Um, probably good ones. We're uh, we're starting on another playthrough probably in... Well, okay, we have a lot of those episodes left. Maybe in about a month and a half we'll have another playthrough going. Um, and when Davis gets back from Florida, we'll have another playthrough as well to, to join the XCOM and all the other ones. Um, but we appreciate you guys watching. You can find both of our live streams uh, at twitch.tv slash crashcarl with two H's and uh, twitch.tv slash Captain Milne. Um, and I hope you uh, have a great rest of your day and look forward to part two. Yeah. Yeah. Have fun. Have fun. Be safe. Have fun. Yeah, be safe. Drive safe. <laughs> Jesus. So All right. I just for some... For some reason, I just got fucking attacked by ants while we were filming that. Just like a line of ants just started crawling on my desk, <laughs> so I'm just killing them one by one. So I need to go get some spray. Yeah, no, yeah, go go clean the bodies up, Ryan. Yeah, there's a lot of dead ants on my desk right now. <laughs> I don't know why I, I you I could threw have brought that away. up. Like we could have edited it out. Nah, it's fine. I'll. All right, yeah, you. I'm gonna take care of this now. Okay, you're good. Really big shout out to the Patreon supporters, KLSK1, Garrison Coley, TrueX23, Ziggy Storm, Senpai Gray, Lieutenant Dan, and Wheels OG. Thank you guys so much.